Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Emily. Today we're discussing the importance of video marketing. So tell me some of the facts that you found uh, when researching the importance of video marketing. So what I found is that photos are out, videos are in, mm. and while photos ha still have time and a place, mm -hmm. uh, videos are really kind of making a surge in internet traffic yeah. and what people are doing and utilizing for their marketing efforts. Well, and it's kind of a bummer for me, right? Because like my core is photography. Right. Like that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. um, but we both have resonated with the idea of videography and really picking up a camera mm -hmm. to record some motion picture. Yeah, so 86% of businesses are utilizing video marketing for their um, advertising efforts. And of that 86%, 94% have seen an increase in user understanding of their products or services so mm -hmm. it's really making a huge impact on businesses and people sharing their story yeah no I completely get it I mean it is it's kind of like the Super Bowl mentality but like in everyday advertisements mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know other research has shown that online video is being watched per week per person over doubled the amount from 2018. So if you think about that, <laughs> like everybody's yeah. watching videos yeah. now. Well, and, that, and we're talking about like multi-billion dollar companies to mom and pop shops, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody, yeah. this is what everybody wants. Right. Uh, you know, you mentioned it was, we're living in a TikTok era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's doing TikTok, everybody's watching TikTok, Instagram Reels, stories. There's so many different options, and do you go wide with how you're sharing, or do you do go deep into whatever social media channel that you currently have, right? Okay. Yeah. It's a, and that goes into strategy. The Cisco Video Networking Index forecasts that video traffic will grow fourfold from 2017 through 2022. And then Forbes stated that video will make up 82% of all internet traffic through that timeline. If you think you go on the internet, you go on somebody's website, yeah. their social channel, you know, whatever that looks like, mm -hmm. the traffic that you see is going to be 82% video. This isn't just like a fun number that we're, we're putting out there. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you've got to get comfortable with being on camera. You've mm -hmm. got to get comfortable with uh, building your uh, presence. So when somebody is considering getting into video for mm -hmm. marketing, for marketing themselves, whether it's an individual realtor or it's a company that's you know trying to share their brand, when they're thinking of content strategy mm -hmm. marketing, what are some things that they need to be considering? You know, as far as what they're trying to show, what they're trying mm -hmm. to share, increasing awareness or. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's all about knowing who you are. It kind of goes into a psychological principle of just understanding who you are, understanding why you started this business. Mm -hmm. So now you take that passion and you build a story around it. You tell that story. Mm -hmm. That's what the video, that's what video marketing would be very beneficial for in one of many reasons, right? Mm -hmm. But they want to tell your story. Yeah. You know? So if someone is intimidated by the thought of video marketing, mm -hmm. they can start simply by sharing their story, yes. how they got started, what what is their passion and what they're doing and then being authentic in that and transparent mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a great place to start yes. and then you can kind of dive deeper into okay what are you wanting to get out of this what are you know are you trying to increase your revenue increase user engagement you know um, improve your website traffic you know mm -hmm. those are kind of the underlying goals of what you're trying to accomplish mm -hmm. with your marketing oh yeah 100 percent. i think it's also important to understand your audience yes. you know the people that you're speaking to uh, you can be authentic in that as well and gaining followers of like-minded people mm -hmm. you know you have a passion for what you're doing and what your business is and you want other people to resonate with that mm -hmm. and but then also knowing what your audience is looking for the people that you're trying to reach what are some trends that they're interested in mm -hmm. um, but then doing all of that from a very authentic place you want to grow you want to have an ROI you want to create this idea but at the core of it you just want to be real transparent and honest with your audience. Mm -hmm. So knowing who they are, it kind of helps you get to that place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't want to be trendy, but you do want to follow a trend. Right. So that, you know, that's very important. There's word of mouth marketing, there's video marketing, there's photography, there's a billion different ways to do it. But right now, people are loving and watching videos. Mm -hmm. They're enjoying understanding who you are. And it, because it does, it, be, it isn't easy. 
I mean, we we've been doing this for years, and we're still it's still we still get the giggles, we still right. have the nerves, we still have those fun things. But it's important to kind of challenge yourself to to get out there. And if you're not the person to do it, then uh, there's maybe somebody that is an employee or family friend or whatever. For small businesses, obviously large businesses are going to have much bigger budgets, so they're going to hire people to do that. We just touched base on some pretty deep topics from video marketing strategy to knowing your audience to knowing who you are as a small business. Uh, it takes a lot. So if you have any additional questions on that, definitely get in touch, shoot us an email and we'd love to chat. Thanks.